Hey, this is Dr. Myers. I'm going to talk about Accutane for acne. Accutane has been an awesome drug. It's one of our, it's the most effective medicine. Most patients get very clear on it. And the amazing thing about it is that it has a permanent benefit. Um, patients stay clear long term and their skin is better for life. It was like a magic bullet in medicine for acne. It's, it's Accutane. And it will 100% get your skin clear every single time. It, nothing works quite like it. Uh, I love it. I, I love seeing patients improve on Accutane. I love having patients build their confidence with clear skin. It's been around 45 years. It's very misunderstood, um, but there's tons of great aspects about it. Accutane is something coming into dermatology. Um, when I very first started my training, I was very very wary of but uh, um, been extremely impressed with it I mean no other medicine can you guarantee someone 100% clear skin you know I'm um, doing hormonal therapies doing antibiotics they all they all help but um, certainly there's nothing else we can guarantee someone that will not have any acne um, when they finish it but Accutane you can I like the speed of Accutane it's it's uh, you know also it helps with back acne face acne uh, anywhere you're having acne Accutane can really be beneficial to uh, most patients. Accutane, Accutane's a, a great option for acne, the especially the scarring type, um, acne that you've treated and you've tried to get rid of and it just isn't working, whatever you've been using. It's good for comedonal acne. It melts these comedones out. These are the open blackheads that are open to the environment. It also calms down inflammatory acne. You know, we live in such a good day and age that you know we really shouldn't be uh, having any scars that are resulting from, or, or as, as a result from acne. So if that's happening, I'm quicker to jump towards something like Accutane uh, because hey, scars are harder to treat, and treating with Accutane uh, is you know usually pretty straightforward. You know, Accutane is a vitamin A derivative medicine, works to permanently shrink oil glands. Doesn't mean you can go take a huge amount of vitamin A and get the same effect from it, and plus that's dangerous, but this is in a way that's been approved. It's been around that long, 45 years. It, it does a few things. So first, um, it kind of helps to reform your oil glands. Part of the driver of acne in some cases is the fact that um, this bacteria feeds off of the oil production, the oil that's produced by your skin. And so Accutane goes in, kind of reforms those, shuts them down to some degree, which is why people get so dry on Accutane. It normalizes your skin cell turnover, which at, you know, for some people, they say 10 to 15% of people will experience a little bit of a purge. Um, or an increase in acne when they start Accutane, and that's that's why, that's that mechanism. There are definitely ways around that, um, doing like antihistamines um, every day, like a daily Zyrtec or something like that, uh, levocetirazine or cetirazine. You know, we hear a lot of side effects about Accutane. Um, you can go on TikTok and, and it could scare you half to death. But most patients, in actuality, do really well with uh, the, with the treatment of Accutane. Mainly, most patients, the most thing that they'll notice is dryness, particularly dry lips. Um, something that can easily be remedied by just keeping some chapstick or Aquaphor on hand and applying that regularly throughout the day. And patients do very well on that. You're gonna get um, a little sun sensitivity. I always say you're double sun sensitive. So that means if you would have burned in the sun in two hours. Now you'll burn in the sun in one hour. I don't know if that is true, but it allows people to remember it. And be sure to wear sunscreen and protect from the sun when they're out doing things um, or the fun things that we have around here in Utah. Um, how long is a treatment? Back in the day, I don't know, 10 years ago, 30 years ago, five months, four months. Now almost everybody, I'm like six months, seven months, eight months. Why? Because in the rare case where people get their acne bouncing back, even if it's like a quarter as much or a third as much or 50% less or 10%, I hate it. I'm like sad that they did this long course and they're getting a little bit bounced back. Now, occasionally, yeah, sometimes we do have to do second rounds of Accutane, uh, but the majority of the patients, they do you know, roughly about a, 
eight to nine month you know, treatment with it and their skin is looking phenomenal. Different ways of doing it. Some, um, you know, whether it's, it's like two, two pills a day from the beginning just to kind of really shut it down a little bit more aggressive in treatment. I tend to like to start a little bit more slowly, um, especially if the patient is more at risk, depending on the type of acne for purging, uh, just because kind of the whole point in doing Accutane is to prevent or to reduce long-term scarring by preventing further deep scarring acne. We're gonna ease into it. We're gonna do a few pills a week maybe. We might do a simultaneous antibiotic to decrease inflammation. And even sometimes we start a steroid, a super low dose for a few weeks to kind of get them over that beginning hump and kind of get them into the good treatment. What really changed the game for me with Accutane and why it's now one of my absolute favorite medicines um, is when I learned about microdosing or low dose um, Accutane. Um, every study that I've found has shown that it's every bit as effective as higher doses of Accutane, um, but just with a fraction of the side effects. And so I'm, I'm very grateful that it, that it exists. It's, it's not that it's for everyone, you know, and we have a, a long conversation with people about going through all the various options. Um, but uh, I can certainly say it's um, a, a patient favorite. These are, these are definitely my, my happiest acne patients are people that choose to do that, that low dose for microdosing of Accutane. So another, another very important thing about Accutane is the amount of fat that you take with it. In the studies, that was, that was 50 grams with every dose. That's the equivalent to like two and a half avocados. So that's a lot of fat for a lot of people very difficult to get. And so, you know, even if, even if it's like with a, a, a meal, a breakfast, I mean, an option would be like a Baconator at Wendy's or, or just a meal at home where you're, you know, there's dairy in it, there's different kinds of meat. So there's a lot of easy ways to get a good amount of fat, not necessarily even getting 50 grams, but still getting some will, will benefit you. Other ways to do it, uh, eggs are a great source. Full fat dairy, um, avocados, again, sardines. No one's taken me up on that one, but it is a great option, especially if they're packed in olive oil. And so lots of different ways to get the fat that you, that you need um, in order to make Accutane the best that it can be, even if you're not getting that full steady 50 grams. Sometimes I have people drink an extra glass of water a day saying, hey, if you're drying the outside, you're drying the inside. I don't think you have to drink an extra pitcher of water per day, but hey, an extra glass or two is smart. Because I have noticed rarely some people get headaches like the first month or two, and this is like less than 1%. But those who do, it's usually that they're dehydrated. It's like a dehydration headache, and I'm like... Um, Often I'll either decrease the Accutane or I'll have them drink increased water and within a day or two the headache resolves. The one other thing that I'll add about Accutane that's um, commonly misunderstood I think because I think because it's associated with, because it can cause birth defects um, is that uh, um, a lot of people think that it acts on your hormones and it does not. You know it's, it's vitamin A. It's a, it's a synthetic, synthetic version of vitamin A but vitamin A um, sort of more targeted to the skin um, and so it's not it doesn't mess with hormones on um, which I really like it's not an antibiotic that's gonna impact your gut health you know which the more we understand about gut health the more we understand um, that we should really be limiting how much we're giving antibiotics to patients and so um, so there's no no issues with hormones or with, with you know with gut health which is something I really, really appreciate appreciate about it as well. Cutane is managed by I pledge. I pledge is a system that checks um, for um, those who are on Accutane to make sure they don't get pregnant. So females have to take a birth control tests. Both females and males have to do a monthly check because I pledge requires it. And this is for refills. So we can't put refills. It's basically the only medicine we can't put refills on the bottle. You have to come back in and we have to affirm that we think they're continued to be a good candidate to take the Accutane. Depending on the, the age demographic of the patient, teenagers, they're gonna, about 60% of them, if they do a full course of Accutane, are gonna have a permanently clear skin. 
Um, you know, 40% won't, 40% will get some recurrence, but it's usually pretty mild. Um, uh, and adults, people, are, people in their 20s or beyond that do Accutane and do a full course, 80% um, of them are, are gonna have clear skin long-term. So again, we have it in our toolbox, Accutane's amazing, and it's fun to see as a provider, seeing uh, my patients going from you know, more moderate to severe acne to very, very clear skin. That's your acne goods. Hope that helps. Um, it's a good medicine for a lot of patients if you know um, the specifics about it. Thank you.